Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do the duo of death mission, L4 mission in a rattlesnake really fast. Anyway, let's get into this. So, the duo of death. It's a very simple mission, it involves you killing two bad guys or two pirate lords who are very wanted. So, we want to accept this, undock. And my rattlesnake is using cruise missile launchers. As you guys know, I'm running more L4 missions nowadays. And it's because you, some douches out there have found my T5 abyss location. So I've been compromised. So I have to find a new isk making activity. And in all honesty, in all honesty I'm not really in need of much isk right now. So I do not really mind the reduced outcome. Reduced income, not outcome, income <laughs> from L4 missions compared to T5. Obviously, the T5 abysses are going to be miles past L4 missions, but as you guys know, I really like L4 missions for their relaxing nature, being able to just pause whenever you feel like it. It's really nice. So let's walk to Nakugard. I'm running in Langisi. Really good to run in those 0 0.5 systems because you want to get that extra payout. The lower the security status, the more LP and ISK you get. Simple as that. Let's start warping in my prized rattlesnake. Using cruise missile launchers, drone link augmented to give my drone some extra range, full lows with the damage slots to give truck tons of damage. You don't really need much tank at all in L4 missions. The most amount of tank is good to have a lot of burst tanks so that you can tank for a short amount of time because often there's damage for a short amount of time, but it, you kill the enemies and then uh, your tank is is good so you don't have to be cap stable with it which is exactly why i'm not cap stable with it also in general the rattlesnake snake is a really tanky ship let's see now. okay so we go warp to this location so when we come here we're going to see two two <laughs> two battleships those are the guys we have to kill the thing is they're quite far away they're also going to drop an item we need to pick up to and take back to our mission agent to complete the mission and they're also going to be some drones who are going to web us these drones are called spider drones i think so spider drones and they will web us so we have to take them out first actually so what i'll be doing is i'll just burn with my micro warp drive to the battleships and set my drones loose on the spider drones because they'll be able to track them my my cruise missiles will not be able to apply crap to these spider drones because they're like frigate size i think even smaller than the frigates to be honest all right let's go acceleration gate you can do this all right battle snake warps really slowly it's a bad thing so there's the spider drones i was talking about you want to just burn towards these gist and gist the same type of micro warp drive i'm using right here so, all right burn towards this thing activate our hardness lock up everything here i'll shoot my cruise missile launches on the battleships let's see what was the lowest resist now okay we can get em then em is what we want to have here and they've got crazy range as well in fact we don't need to need to have the mwt on for the meantime we'll get the cruise missile launches on these guys got application mods to slow down the spider drones so we can actually get to them they die really quickly it's a good mission because you do it so quickly the payout is not the best but it's so fast so i like doing this mission because of that i don't think it's one of those extremely high if you if you like add the time up in uh, in the long run the isk power is not the best but it's still a simple mission to do i i don't turn it down if i get it i have a limited amount of ability to turn down missions due to standing but obviously there are better missions than this the the dread pirate scarlet is a good example of a mission which i would definitely not turn down the really best one out there actually but you got the, always got these extra missions in between. And the good thing about doing many missions is that you can get these storyline missions. No storyline missions. Every 16 missions you do, you get storyline missions. Storyline missions make it so that you do a special mission. It's like a kind of special op or special mission. And then what happens is if you complete that, you get a really big standing boost, which is really nice. So then you have the ability to turn down a lot more missions. And also you get big standing boost with the alliance of that corporation you're working for and if you have good standings with the alliance of a corporation then 
you can turn down even more missions because the way standings work if you have a good standing with the alliance it's a lot easier to turn down missions so let's just kill these two guys and they're going to drop something the second one okay, that guy's almost dead let's burn to this guy with the mwd come on with him all right let's go it could have been perhaps good to have a more shorter range ship maybe a shorter range ship i'm not sure but the rattlesnakes choose through i use the rattlesnake for basically every single mission apart from the recon mission which i use in a speedy frigate this guy is soon down get the mwd off booster off with there's no more tank requirements set destiny okay we can start aligning to langisi soon this guy is gonna soon die we start aligning already because we're gonna this warp off really quickly i want to do this fast this guy is soon dead there we go cargo container open up recall drones shift f is my binding warp to langisi boop -a -dee -boop, -a boop we are done guys we are done it's that simple the duo of death is that simple special delivery someone has a special delivery i wonder what there is in here you know something i wish in eve is that they have more is these kind of like admissions i wish they would have these um like actual voice lines for the missions so that when they're talking they give a bit more immersion because the text feels a bit boring I, I never really bother reading the text and i guess if there was voice people half of the time not even listen to the voice line so i guess it would be a big waste of time and money but i feel like they have I, it would be interesting if it was made so that the missions were you actually care more about the kind of story behind the mission because in this case some special delivery needs to be delivered but it doesn't feel like this means much yeah it feels very dry it just feels like this is okay this is just a, the jewel of death mission yeah nothing more than that it's like there's i don't really know exactly what this entails and there's no reason for me to even care why it means it doesn't mean anything in the wide picture of things for the for the corporation sisters of eve so not much to look at we've got some macarials and armageddon is running and vargas i really want to run the, all these guys here are probably running L4 missions. I want to use the Bargus because the Bargus is a really cool looking ship. People say it looks like a pancake, but I think it looks really cool. Especially with this skin here, it looks really cool. Alright, let's dock up here. Okay, all these guys here. I wonder what they're doing. Just chilling outside the station. Okay, let's see now. Talk to this guy. View mission, complete mission. And there you go, Dew of Death done in just a few minutes. We were eight minutes, okay. So I guess we could be a bit faster if we had a higher warp speed, a lot of time was spent warping. And is one of the bad sides with my rattlesnake in that I don't have any hyperspatial velocity optimizers, which will make so that I warp very slowly. That's it for the Dew of Death, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hope the face cam wasn't too intimidating. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.